Hey everyone, welcome to Little Library Land's October 2019 Osborne Books new releases. So we have a whole bunch of new books this um, that joined us this month. I think 43 new titles. So I'm just going to jump in and start right away um, because there's lots to go through. So first of all, the most exciting I find is I get asked all the time if Osborne still has a cookbook. And apparently we did a long time ago, but here is a new one that was just released for October. I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna make a great gift. Um, it's hard covered and coil bound, so it lays nice and flat um, on the counter while you're cooking. It has cute little tabs that say dairy and eggs, pasta, potatoes, meat and fish, rice and beans, bread and pastry, and cookies and cakes. Um, and it just has step-by-step -step instructions. It has a real photograph as well as illustrations. Um, just going through everything in the cookbook. I don't even know how many recipes, 150 recipes in this book. So it's a nice, thick, big um, cookbook. So up next is we have a new questions and answers. This is Lift the Flap questions and answers about weather. So if you don't know about this series, it's fantastic. Um, I like to say ages four to eight um, usually, um, but I still learn things from this series every time I read one. Uh, so it's basically the who, what, where, when of whatever the topic is, in this case, weather, and the question's on the outside of the flap, and then the answer is underneath the flap. So that's super cool, keeping the kids engaged a little bit longer, because all kids, and even myself, want to know what's underneath those flips. So um, questions and answers about weather. Up next, this is a different um, series. I don't know if we're going to get more of these or not, um, but this is Step Inside Ancient Egypt. So it is um, all about ancient Egypt, of course, but it has lots of laser cutouts in it. Um, as you can see there, lots of laser cutouts. There's some, uh, a few flaps in it as well. And this one is all about ancient Egypt. And then up next is the Famous Look Inside series. We have um, Seas and Oceans has joined us this month. I think it's going to be a great one because there's so much to learn about the sea and the ocean um, and it's all its deepness and blueness and never endingness that we don't that we can discover all about it. Um, so this has tons of flaps. I think it has over 50 flaps in it um, to learn all about the sea and the ocean. Uh, this is a new series. We don't have any of these ones yet. So this is the Little Children's Coloring Book. So it's a super cute size um, meant for your youngest of um, color ones that are coloring. So it says two plus. Uh, most of the pages colored for them already. And then they just color the, and draw and scribble all over the big patterned open spaces. So that's super cute. Um, up next, a couple wipe clean. So we got a new wipe clean airport activity. So these ones are great for about two and a half and up. Um, they have mazes and dot to dots and spot the differences and tracing and giving things arms or legs, tracing some numbers on them. Um, just a whole bunch of fun activities and they're wipe clean so you can just wipe them clean and do them again and again. They're great for traveling. Um, then we have uh, age eight and nine wipe clean writing skills. So these ones are our, our key, from our key skills wipe clean series, um, educational based, working on specific topics. So this one's talking all about writing skills, um, supporting is, um, notes and tips for grownups as well in it, um, and endless practice because it is wipe clean. So that is awesome. Um, then we got this new Osborne activity maps book. Uh, so it's a little bit gauge for a little bit older, probably seven, eight plus. Um, and it's all different things about maps, drawing maps, um, map crosswords and uh, word searches and just figuring out all sorts of different activities um, due to maps. Then we got a whole stack of new jigsaw puzzles. So if you don't know about our jigsaw puzzles, they're fantastic. They come in an amazing, beautiful box and they all include a jigsaw and a book inside the box. So. This is, joining us is Book and Jigsaw in the Forest. So it's kind of wintry Christmassy feel because they're in the snow and there's a cute little snowman. Um, this is a hundred piece puzzle. There is a picture of the size of the puzzle pieces in this um, specific box. Um, and it comes with a look and, look and find, look inside the forest. So a look and find forest book um, as well in this box. They make the best gifts because you can just wrap it up. Um, they're $17.95, so really reasonable, under 20 bucks for a book and a jigsaw. 
This is a new size that we've never seen before, um, meant for your littlest puzzlers, so like two to three years old. Um, this box contains three nine-piece puzzles and um, a board book about the jungle. So that's so uh, super great having a board book in with these big thick pieces. Um, so that one's super cute. Then this is the first time we've ever had a 200 piece puzzle. So this is the solar system. Um, the piece size is there, so a little bit smaller than that 100 piece puzzle. And how awesome is this? This is an awesome looking puzzle. And then it comes with the fold out solar system book. So kind of like an accordion and it's all the solar system on a fold out, um, fold out book. So there's that one. And then the last puzzle we got this month is a 30 piece. So the 30 pieces are there, nice and big. They're thick, hard pieces. Um, so 30 pieces this is the nativity one and it comes with the nativity picture book, like storybook, and then the 30 piece puzzle. So that's a great one. Make a great Christmas kind of gift. Um, we got a few smaller novels. This is a brand new series to us. This is Amy Wilde. Um, so there's the Amy Wilde and the Silly Squirrel and Amy Wilde and the Quarreling Cats. So they're thinner novels. Um, I haven't, there's a few smaller pictures throughout, um, just some easy reading. Um, and then we got a nice thick um, novel for a little bit older, um, The Girl with Space in Her Heart. So this would be great for probably 10, 12 plus. So I think I might read this one myself. Um, up next, we got some new sticker dolly dressing books. So anything kittens and puppies always is excited um, everybody's excited about. So here is, these are the little sticker dolly dressings. So the books are a little bit smaller and this one's kittens, this one's puppies. Just to peek inside, the girls are kind of in their um, underwear and then you find the stickers and then you dress them and put all their accessories and their dogs and their leashes and all that stuff. And then the kittens one is the same. So just, um, and then all the fun stuff at the back of the book there. So those are great. Um, then we got Mermaid Snap. So that's going to be a great, I think great, Snap is a great stocking stuffer, a great family game on cold winter nights, or if you're having family over for Thanksgiving or um, the over the holidays, it's a great game to play um, with everybody. It comes with instructions how to play Snap, and then you can also play like memory and go fish with the cards as well. So that's fun. Um, we got some new baby books too. So this is Mix and Match Jobs. So this one, these ones are super cute. We have one other one. I can't remember what it, the title of it is, but they have the pages split in half. So then you can just mix and match their outfits, the tiger and the gorilla there. You change them up what they are. And then we also got this job, 199 jobs. So I think this is great um, to talk about all the different types of jobs that the kids want to be when they grow up um, and different career paths that there are. A geologist, a zookeeper, postal worker, dog walker, you name it. Um, they're all in here kind of thing. Maybe I should look at this and see what I want to be when I grow up. Um, I have a whole bunch of customers, kids that love mazes. So this one is new forest mazes. So beautifully illustrated mazes and then you have to find your way through them. Um, so forest mazes. We got a new phonics reader. Oxodal finds a bottle. So yes, an, an oxodal is a real thing. It's If you didn't know, it's kind of like a lizard fish. It looks like a lizard, but it lives in the water. Um, so this is a new phonics reader. Super cute illustrations um, and fun rhyming phonics story. Great for bedtime stories or ones learning to read. We got two new um, embroidery kits. So these would make great Christmas gifts, um, probably for about age eight and up. Even myself would probably enjoy doing these. We already have the unicorn and the mermaid one. And then joining us in October is the llama and the flamingo. So how cute are those? So it comes with everything you need. Um, the string, the needle, an embroidery hoop, and then the instructions and the cotton fabric as well to make that. Then we got a new picture book. This is the Emperor and Nightingale. Um, our picture books are nice big size um, and beautifully illustrated. So that's a new story book. Um, we got a new pop-up book. So we get asked, actually, pop-up books are apparently hard to find. So this one I have to take the time to show you guys. So there it comes live. I love the house, this page. Look, look at that. How cute. So three little pigs pop-up book. Um, big size sticker dolly dressing. And of course, famous for unicorns um, and again has all the girls in it and then you go to the back and find all the stickers and accessories and wings and all that stuff for that hold on buddy 
Um, a new activity book, Little Children's Pirate Activity Book. If you have a little bit advanced uh, four-year-old, um, or I'd say kindergarten, grade one, these activity books are great. They have word searches and mazes and coloring and sometimes stickers and just a whole bunch of fun different activities. So this is the Pirate Activity Book. Uh, for a little bit older readers, 100 Things to Know About Planet Earth. So this is a whole series. Um, this one's new this month. And they're the fun, quirky things that you don't usually know about whatever the topic is. Antarctica froze after the Himalayan mountains rose. Antarctica was covered in a forest 100 million years ago. And then it goes with, in with a bunch of little facts to go with the main fact. Um, so that, those are pretty cool. I love them. They're great for like dinner time conversation or trying to one up your dad or grandpa. Um, we got a couple new baby books. So that's not my koala joined us this month. If you don't know, these are touchy feely books. They have a, um, see his nose is there, squishy. And then there's a little cute white mouse on every page to find. His belly's fuzzy there. Um, and great bold bright colors, thick super thick board pages, so koala is new. And then we got a new little board book. I absolutely love that they're putting storybooks into board books. Um, for the, it's nice to just be able to leave them out on the coffee table for the littlest ones to pick up and look through the pictures um, and then be a little bit more durable than uh, the paper pages books. So this is Little Red Riding Hood in a board book. Um, and we got a whole bunch of new mini activity books. These are great to use for goodie bags, um, for traveling, just putting in your purse for the airplane or restaurants, um, stocking stuffers. So this is Spot the Difference. So the pages, you just go through and you spot the differences on the picture. So super fun. Um, this one's all hand lettering. I would have loved this one as even like uh, in my junior year, um, learning all the different bubbles, bubble letters and different kinds of letters. Um, to do for projects and poster boards. This one's Birds to Spot, so it has a whole bunch of information on a bunch of different birds. Um, and then you, there's a little chart and stickers, and as you find and see those birds either out on a nature walk or in your backyard or wherever you are, um, you can put the sticker on and just cross it off the list that you've seen it. Then there's Hand Shadow, so I think we'll probably bring this one upstairs for bedtime because my little guy's nightlight in their room makes great... Um, Shadow that we can do a hand hand shadow, so I'm sure there's a few in here that we could learn to do. And it just shows you how to place your hand and how it makes different um, shapes. So I think that one's super cute. This one's mirror drawing, so it's exactly what it says. Um, there's tons of them in here, half the picture's there, and then it gives you squares to copy the image on the other side. Love that one. Uh, what else did we get? We got a couple little wipe clean books. Uh, this is the little wipe clean word book about me. And then we got one of outdoors. So these just have um, words to work on spelling um, and associating the spelling with the actual pictures, practicing pen control and letter shapes. Um, so these are great. At the very beginning also, there's a little bit practice um, on alphabet and then the wipe them clean and do them again. Uh, we got a couple more sticker books here. Don't mind this. Um, first up is the little first stickers jungle. So this one has a scene in it, or scenes, I should say, plural. And then there's stickers, and then you build the scene um, in the sticker book. So how cute is that to build jungle scenes? Um, and then the little sparkly Christmas sticker book. This one's so pretty. Like, look how cute that little um, shelf is. And then you look at that Santa side. The illustrations are absolutely beautiful. And then you go to the back and find the stickers. Some are sparkly, and some are shiny, and some are just regular and then you build the pictures um, that are Christmassy. So those would be great in like an advent calendar. Um, same with these minis. If you do an advent calendar, like a homemade one, I find books are great for that. So these little activity books would be a great um, to put in for a couple days. Another 199 book is 199 Things on the Road. We at home here have been collecting this series. I think we have about eight of them now. Um, so I'm sure this one will be on my little guy's list um, as soon as he sees it. So this one's all things with different wheels and um, not just wheels, but other things that you find on the road too, like safety cones and signs. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and we got two more. So a new Sea Inside a Museum. So this Sea Inside is our big, oldest um, flap book series uh, and it, they have over usually over 50 flaps anywhere from 50 to 100 and this one's all about the museum so I'm actually going to donate this one to one of the children's museums for a silent auction um, they're doing some fundraising to open a new children's museum so this one I'm going to donate to
to them. So there's that one. And then last but not least is this beautiful collection of Poppy and Sam's Animal Stories. Um, it is super cute. If you don't know about Poppy and Sam, they are like what part of what Osborne is famous for. Um, it has what 10 different stories in it, um, about 210 pages in this book. Uh, Stephen Cartwright, the author that has now passed away, um, is famous for hiding these this cute little yellow duck on every page. So it makes it super fun at story time um, to also find that cute little yellow duck. My two-year-old that you just seen in the video here, he loves reading these Poppy and Sam books and he waits for me to finish the page with his finger ready to point out where he spots that duck. So um, super cute, just an extra little thing. Yeah, it says you're fine the little duck on every page there at the bottom. So it's hardcover, nice, big. This would make a beautiful gift. So that is all the new releases for October 2019 from Osborne. I hope you enjoyed them there is so many to choose from perfect time um, right before Christmas here and if you have any questions at all if they would work um, for an age range or anything specific or need some set, um, suggestions for your little one for Christmas shopping feel free to ask um, I'm always available to answer those questions so hope you have uh, well it's October so I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and your bellies are full and um, be safe and have fun out there trick-or-treating and I hope your kids costumes work out perfectly in the weather participates. Have a good one. See you next month. Bye.